Waterproof test. First of all, we are going to perform a waterproof test with a reflective coating. The test is mainly to demonstrate that the molecules of the product are smaller than water molecules. To the tissue on the left hand side, no kind of coating has been applied. The one on the right hand side is painted with the Wilf reflective coating. We are now pouring water into the beakers. As you can see, the left tissue laid on top of the beaker is obviously not waterproof. The water drops through the tissue into the beaker. On the right hand side, the tissue does not let the water through. Thermal insulation test. For the next test we are going to use ice. Let's have a look at the thermal insulation properties of the coating. Again, the container on the left hand side has not been treated. The other container has a layer of the Wilf product on its bottom. After a while the ice on the left melted away, while there is still some left on the one on the other side. Now let's look at the effect of thermal insulation by using chocolate. The left hand side container is untreated, the other one has the coating applied to. After a while the left piece of chocolate melted. Again the treated container still had a solid chunk left. Sunlight stimulation test. Let's check how effectively the coating reflects light. At first we are installing iron panels as roof models. The left roof has not been treated. The roof of the right side is coated with the roof product, applied with a thickness of about 600 micrometers. Let's start to test the effect of incoming sunlight by using a heat lamp. Two minutes later, the temperature difference between the interior of the two houses is about 14 degrees. After five minutes, the temperature difference between them reaches nearly 20 degrees. Application procedure of the reflective coating. First, make a clean surface. Remove organic matter, oil, grease, dust, flaking off paint, dirt and rust oxides from the surface. Second, paint or spray. Apply the reflective coating with a brush, roller or an air compressor with a nozzle. Third, wait for it to dry. This takes about two to three hours. Fourth, repeat two and three. Fifth, finished. Note, please pay attention to the weather conditions to avoid rain to have an effect on the quality of the result. No water dilution, primer or solvent necessary. Apply directly to reinforced concrete or see every five gallons of reflective coating should only be diluted with one liter of water at maximum of the first layer. The second layer does not need to be diluted with any water. The use of the reflective coating is adopted from the NASA Aerospace Thermal Insulation Technology with a combination of other nanotechnologies. The reflective coating forms a seamless elastic film which can prevent surface cracking. Only two layers of coating need to be applied, which can be done using a spray can. Each interval takes about two to three hours. The cohesion between coating and substrate is good. It can cover the old waterproof paint on the roof without any primer which saves extra costs. Suitable for most roofing materials. For example, reinforced concrete, metal plates, wall bricks, floor tiles, American asphalt tiles, Japanese tiles, asbestos tiles, foam materials. When the layers dry, the polymers inside the raisins 
will release the internal moisture and produce waterproof effects while raining. Contains water-based environmental friendly materials. Low amount of volatile organic compounds harmless to human health. The thermal insulation is capable of improving the cooling efficiency of a room. The indoor temperature is lowered by 1 degree, which can save 6% of the electricity bill. The average cost saving is about 35% to 65%.